off the beaten path. In the southwest corner of Hardy County, you'll find one man's dream turned into reality. Dad's been called the Rembrandt of Reclamation, the Da Vinci of Debris, and the Wizard of Odds and Ends, and the Savior of Salvage. That man, Howard Solomon, built a castle in the middle of really nowhere. What are we going to see when we go through these doors? <laughs> Amazing artwork. A, a man and his dream. This just is unreal what he has done here. Welcome to Solomon's Castle. Solomon, a sculptor, had an eye unlike any other. In 1970, he purchased 90 acres, made up mostly of swampland, and began transforming it into a real kingdom for his family. He would add a tower here, a tour there, and before you know it, he said he'd have a castle. Every, every man's home is his castle. Well, for Dad, it was really true. Today, his daughter, Elaine, keeps the kingdom running. There were additions along the way, the boat in the moat restaurant, and a lighthouse for extra seating. But the main attraction, Solomon's Castle, draws visitors each year. He did not sketch anything out. Whatever was on his mind, he had to start and finish. The first floor contains his galleries and artwork. He has done more than 60 montages. Pieces all made from recycled materials. Her hair, these are roller chains. Each unique in its own way. In her body, that's parts of an oil drum. And talk about a repurposer. Solomon covered his castle in these offset aluminum printing plates that he got from a local newspaper. That's what gives his castle that shine that continues to attract people. He was concentrated, he was quick at everything he did. As the years passed, Solomon never stopped designing. This is was dad's domain. This is where he made it all happen. And uh, he kept a chain across the, the door over there and guests would kind of walk up and peek in. His last handmade piece. It's a beautiful 10 foot long turn of the century locomotive. Sits as a reminder of his creativity. These are cans out of my kitchen from cream of chicken soup. Solomon passed away in August of 2016 at the age of 81. And one of the best parts that Howard Solomon left behind is his heart and soul for this place. And it can still be felt today through his family. It's not just the castle that he built or the sculptings inside, which each of those stand alone as, you know, a beautiful legacy, but the whole little kingdom that he made here for us. That, that's the true legacy. On a one tank trip in Ona, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. And Solomon's Castle is open Tuesday through Thursday. There's only a fee to check out the inside of the castle. You can eat at the restaurant anytime. And there's also a nature trail that showcases Horse Creek in Hardy County.